Ciao a tutti! Welcome to my cooking class. Today I will teach you how to prepare fish stock. Let's start! Fish stock is one of the bases of Italian cuisine that cannot miss in your fish dishes. With this basis, the quality of your cooking will leapfrog and make you feel like a real chef. In Italian, we call it fumetto, which means fuming, because when we prepare it, we can see water vapor, but no boiling. In fact, it's cooked at a temperature of around 80 to 95 degrees Celsius. Let's start preparing the ingredients. Clean and cut a carrot, a celery stalk, half an onion, a leek stalk, some parsley, and a crushed garlic clove. These are the traditional ingredients in the Italian fish stock. You may want to use some of your own creativity and experiment with other herbs and vegetables. For instance, mom really likes lemongrass in fish dishes, even if this ingredient is not typical Italian. This is lemongrass. I like to put it in my fish stock. Whitefish is the best for fish stock, such as sole, sea bass, and brill. These fish are used for special dishes that require a more delicate taste. Think of pasta with clams. If you're after a flavor with more personality, then use fish such as red scorpion fish or tub gurnard. Those ones are great for risotto. You may also want to use shrimp, carapace, and skin. The flavor is strong, but it's great. Do not use salmon and tuna leftovers. Your flavor would be too strong and it would spoil the result. For the tuna, there are rare exceptions. Watch the video above. In a pan, put some olive oil and add the vegetables. Now take the fish bones and rinse them before putting them in the pot. There might be dirty water or bitter fish guts that could spoil the stock. Brown. Simmer and reduce with white wine. Add cold water and lower the heat. Cover with the lid. This keeps the temperature constant and decreases the rate of evaporation. We'll leave a little gap, or else the broth might overflow. Simmer for around one hour. Now, some people like to skim, but here at Tony's home, we do not like doing that. In fact, if you cook slowly, the froth will be absorbed and you won't lose the coagulated proteins and other nutrients. After simmering for an hour, turn off the fire and let it rest for a while. Let it drain for a few minutes. Drain pressing the bones and other solid parts. Do you want a lighter stock? Filter it with a cloth. It will remove the greasy stuff, but not the flavor of the olive oil and the fish fat. Look! When you make stock, make it enough for stocking it. No pun intended. Take some containers and freeze it, ready to be used upon need. Take note, this is used as a basis and depending on the amount of stock, a dish can become too salty. Therefore, add salt only in your final dish. Let's try this uh, fish stock with uh, a simple recipe. On the fire. Here it is, the fish stock, a fundamental basis of the Italian cuisine. If you add different herbs or change the quantities, you can adjust its flavor to your taste and needs. Mom likes adding a bit of ginger and lemongrass. By the way, we do not put salt. I don't put salt in my fish stock. I put salt now. Boil it, I add the pasta. When it's boiling, add pasta. A small shape like orzo or broken spaghetti are a great choice. When the pasta is al dente, turn off the fire and add a few shrimps, squid stripes, a bit of parsley and pepper. This is a wonderful soup. Simple and delicious. Let's recap some of the things we learned today and typical mistakes. You should not use salmon or tuna to make fish stock. 
You need to rinse the fish bones just a short while before using them. You need to add cold water after browning. Thank you for watching the My Cooking Class. If you want to become a great Italian chef, follow me. See you in the next episode and don't forget to subscribe. Ciao! Don't miss the next cooking classes of Tony's Home, where every day is a sunny day.